Hi, Aaron here from Superior Singing Method, and this is how to sing high notes for guys without straining. Okay, how to sing high notes for guys without straining. That's a mouthful. Uh, the first thing is that where most of the strain comes from is when we raise our larynx up when we hit high notes, which is really common. Uh, and you're singing like, uh, that, that kind of larynx is, is high. So we want to keep that larynx steady when we're singing. And part of the way we do that is, is really you can just look in the mirror and see, sing your favorite song and, and sing some of those high notes and see what your larynx is doing. You can even touch your larynx and feel it. Uh, as, it, as it goes up, and notice the placement of your voice that you need to keep it steady. Now, keeping it steady, now, uh, lowering it can also cause strain, so that it's strain when it's high, but it's also strain when it's low. You know, the middle position is what you want. You don't want an operatic low, you know, you don't want that, and you don't want uh, that either, because that squeezes your throat, squeezes the air, and it gets a really bad tone, like a squeezy tone, and it's just hard to hit the notes anyway. So even if you hit the note, it generally doesn't sound very good. When you keep the larynx steady, and it takes time, and every I would do every song, the high notes that you hit, pick the certain high notes that normally you feel strain, and just focus on those and see what it feels like really lightly. So at first, uh, those high notes, just sing those high notes really, really lightly. Get it right as when it's light, and then you can add the more weight on top once you see what it feels like to keep that larynx nice and steady. Because when you keep your larynx steady, what happens is it, it, it takes the pressure off, so, so the muscles kind of squeeze in around the larynx, and to take that pressure off, you keep your larynx nice and steady. Um, also, another thing that keeps a strain is the muscles we use to swallow. They, 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 when they engage, those muscles are called the digrastic muscles. A lot of time, if we're like nervous, we're straining or tense, you know, that, it tenses up our digrastic muscles down there. So, um, you want to make sure that that's nice and nice and loose in there too. So, so you know, get work it out a little bit. Maybe work it out a little bit here. We give it a little like, hmm. Hmm, make sure they're nice and loose down there because a lot of tension can come from there. So, and you, of course, you want to get rid of tension. Tension is just bad singing. It's, it's just hard to sing well at all and make it sound good with tension. Hope that's helpful. Click the link below if you want my favorite vocal exercise and also, also some other fun free stuff. And then you can find my course, uh, Superior Singing Method, there. It's a full course, everything you need, A to Z, how to build the voice that you want, that you want to sing with full tone, resonant, and the high notes and all that stuff. Because that's what we do. We build a voice. It's not that we're born with a good voice or we're not born with a good voice. It's something that the right exercises and techniques will get us there. Okay, I hope you're doing well. Leave me a comment if you want to. Uh, a lot of the comments is where I get a lot of this information. But that's it. Have a great day.